Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the s on the server, on the Stagcraft server, which we've cunningly named. Um, hey Will, how's it going? Uh, it's alright. So, Will's here today, he has less teeth than he had before. Six less, to be precise. Six less, <laughs> he's drugged up, um, and everything is going to go terribly. Um, see, see, the drugged up man can't open a door properly. Um, um. <laughs> but today we're going to take a, another place to things, and uh, Will's actually oh. looking for a lovely summer pad for his uh, for himself uh, because you know Will Corp is it Will Corp? It's either Will to Prizes or Will Corp. I don't okay, know. Will to Prizes or Will Corp <laughs> um, <coughs> can uh, need a summer home. <coughs> so sure. you need a summer home, don't you? I, I do. I like the lighthouse on the map. It looks quite cool. Yeah, yeah, it's quite nice. Hang Although, on. What's, this, what's this up here? That's yeah, actually but... a sandstone temple. For some reason, it uh -huh. comes up grey, but <coughs> never mind. Um, so, Will, a few basic questions here. This summer pad you you're looking for um, is it just for yourself? Is it for personal use, or is it going to be for your employees as well? <coughs> well, it was going to be for employees as well, but you crack down on the policy of no child labour on the service, so I have no employee. You have no workforce now? Yeah, basically. Oh, that's a shame. Hey, guy, how's it going? Um, well, one thing you, you really could do is, like, you know, do what I do, and get my scouts. These guys are my scouts. They, they reconvene and uh, talk to each other, and, like, they have spies out in the field to find the perfect place for you to have your, your, your winter summer pad thing. Yeah. So you could do that, but um, it's quite expensive. These guys, they they drive hard bargain, and you know they've they've started forming unions and, and stuff now. So it's becoming a little <laughs> more difficult. So um, how long before you get sued by them if they're forming unions? I I just shh. <laughs> I'm, I'm planning. I'm planning on throwing them out soon. You know. Mm. I've got to keep them employed until Christmas. Oh, look, look, these two are such good friends, they're sharing a corner. <laughs> yeah, they kind of do that a lot. And it oh, hey, how's it going? Um, they do that quite a lot, but I've got to fire them after the New Year. But I'm throwing a big party um, for New Year's, and, and they're all invited, and at the end, um, they're going to get a surprise. So, yeah, that's going to happen. But shh, Hang on. When, when, when you say surprise, you mean you mean surprise. Surprise. Uh, see? Yeah, <laughs> little little surprise. Um, but yeah, they've been working hard, and I really appreciate it if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna just take a step outside so no one can hear us. Um, so what are you? Sorry. Shut the damn door. Shut Sorry, I'm drugged up. I'm drugged up. <laughs> Dang it. Um, so, what are you looking for in your your summer pad? Are you looking for like a mesa or uh, somewhere? Um, do you want somewhere hot, cold, rainy, or uh, <laughs> um, a mountainous well, retreat, a bat cave, not, not, a man cave? Not mountainous. I, I want it sort of beachy. I can get. I think. Yeah. You want beachy? I can yes. do beachy. Beachy is. You want? It's my thing. And either plains or savanna. Plains or Savannah, okay. Mm. Well, uh, I got one plot right here for you. Um, I know of a good place, Savannah. It's got some, although it is kind of overlooked by its neighbors. Uh, there's a neighbor nearby. Um, you may have to just like consult him a little bit because there's a bit of discrepancy over the the land over there. Um, right. Because of course, you know, squatters' rights and that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, yes. He has been here for like. I think about a week, so you know you got to take that into account. That's that's a long time. So, right. um, but as as I've but, said before uh, to previous clients who've been quite quite interested in this plot, it's got a lot of potential, and I, yeah. I mean um, hella potential. I mean, you've seen my building at spawn. You you know what I could do to the value of this place. Yeah, you you could like completely transform this guy. So the neighbor is kind of a hermit kind of person, you know. You get your, you get the uh, the interesting wildlife types. He's uh, he's got himself a little hole there, but of course you you can't go in there because that's his. Um, and we're yeah. actually trespassing right now. So, but I'm allowed to do it, and you're allowed to do it because like you're with me, and yeah, you know. But if I leave and you're still on there, you're causing 
causing a disturbance in, in trespassing okay. as well. So yeah, yeah. I'm that's running. kind of a bad Don't thing. Worry. Yeah, you got to get off here quite, kind of fast. You got to keep tight, keep formation. You know, well, what you got <laughs> here really is your, your nice basic savanna. Sorry, I need to have my lunch break here. Um, yeah, I just so you kind of got your uh, <laughs> sorry, there's a bit of bone just there. Oh, nasty. Um, <clears throat> there's some. Uh, you got your nice kind of open savanna here, so it's kind of it's got a humid climate. You got a lot of animals around. Let's take that into account. You know, you got, you don't want a desolate wild um, landscape here with no yeah. nothing roaming free. This this area is like um, it's very organic and um, they kind of like to have their free range stuff. So you got your uh, you got your savanna, which kind of browse onto a hill here, which has a great view. Of a, of a smaller island I think uh, it's kind of joined though uh, I don't know what you call that in geography because you know I'm only an estate agent and I didn't take geography but there it is this island here kind of yeah bre well I took out. geography and I don't know what it's called either yeah but then you you kind of go into I the deserty bit here if, Sorry, if it was Finland it's called a fjord but that's about it that's we'll go with that then a fjord you know, you got your fjord out there, um, <laughs> your fjord, um, and and then it breaches out and goes back into a savanna with a large uh, hill here. I think let's just do a quick F3A, just to assess my situation here. You got your nice tall trees to provide a lot of coverage for you, but this yeah. this is our main plot here. You got your lovely backing of a a large browed hill there. Hell, you doing some TP and stuff right there. Um, and you got some nice flat land. You know, you can cut this grass back. You know, this 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 is just taking like a couple of minutes. You know, get your lawnmower out. You sit on and you just shoom. You you got some guys working here already. You got your sheep. Hang so, on. Um, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Oh. So what you um, got here is like your I'll perfect take little secluded I'll area. Take okay. It. Okay. Uh, I'll just show you some more of the features first, because like you, you need to know the things. You got a sort of uh, native workforce here. Um, you got some some. I think they call them sheps. 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 Um, uh, otherwise, in my language, we call them sheep. Um, okay. But th in the native ang language, they call them sheps. Um, right. I don't know why they've pluraled or like you know what I mean. Sheps. It should really be just a shep. Uh, a, a flock of Shep, but yeah. um, that's how they talk. But you, you know, you got your nice secluded area here with the, the mountain backing onto it. You got your trees growing on top. Yeah, you got a bit of a nice fresh water supply around as well. Uh, and then you got your beach, of course, for your your honeys to come and lie down on, and you know, <laughs> which is a bit. This is also kind of secluded from the main house. So if you are uh, you are getting up something you maybe shouldn't do. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> you know, you, you you clear of the wife. She might be in the house. You you're, you're with the um, maid. You know, you're <laughs> down on the beach. You know, you're sweeping up the sand and so on and so forth. But um, of course we gotta you gotta come down to the brass tacks here. You uh you say you're gonna take this. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna put a sign up and see if he notices it. Okay, okay, yeah. If he this disagrees. should be far enough for the neighbour not really to be too bothered. He he'll be well, quite it's, happy. It's not even actually. in, it's not in eyesight, and it's quite a distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, I'll uh, I'll speak to him about it first, you know. But at the moment, I see nothing wrong with this. But um, you know, you gotta come down to the uh, the old uh, payment here. So you've decided to use our services, which we're much very thankful for. But um. If you're hang, take on, this hang on, hang on, hang on. What, what company is this? This is um, uh, Mac Corp, um, the <laughs> umbrella corporation, of course, for the the Matico Enterprises, um, which is also another umbrella for the the Matic Gamer Enterprises. But this is the um, smaller. Um, um, what do you call it? Um, you know. Like, mm, mm. Trading as company, uh, which is of course Land Grab, <laughs> Land Grab con con Conservatories. Um, we don't actually build conservatories; we just sell land. Um, we're going to branch off into that. I think we're actually going to make that into a separate company. But well, um, so hang, on, hang on. So you sell land, you build conservatories, you grab land. Yep, yep, yep. That's all the things we do. 
but um, of course this area here it's it's high it's high value stuff so you know you got your real seclusion stuff here you got a high state-of-the-art security it's got its own native workforce that you can quite easily enslave um, so I'm gonna have to ask for like 10 diamonds for this place you know uh, I'm, I'm giving you staff discount here man I'm giving you my discount this place okay, well, this place could be uh, like 11 without that you know that's a lot mm -hmm. yeah um, well obviously I have to here. gather some have to gather the diamonds yeah 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 um, of course that's not a problem you you can like um, if you give me something now just like something a, a personal possession maybe something of value is like a deposit and of course uh, once you've paid your your ten diamonds uh, you you get that back um, maybe a head bucket. Power. give me a head bucket or something enchanted actually you uh, how's that you got it's nice, only power one you got a nice bow there okay that that's a great deposit um I just got to do a little test with it of course um Oh no, I can't kill any of the natives. Okay, that would go down badly. Any non-natives around? There's one up there. Oh, just missed. It seems alright. Seems like it's got a little bit of something to it, you know. Um, but yeah, I I hope it was. It, this place, man, is definitely worth it. You know, you got your flowers I, I, here too. It's got everything. I like, the I like the corner effect here of the mountains. That that like is if, the key selling point. I knew I, you would like I, this. If I build right up to here, then I've got. Yeah, but if even if you want to like go even further, you know, you get your, because you know you're. You, I know you you use a big yeah you you may make some enemies in this life or the next or the previous. They may come down to hunt you. You know, you, you need your little safety zone so you could like build a, build a underground. You know, some some under there, big iron door. Right. Well, I'm gonna go and get some diamonds. Yeah. Well, uh, you you feel free to get that back to me, and uh, you know. Do I have a deadline? Yeah, you got like a week, man. That's okay. that's simple. That's easy. You got a week. You know, you just uh, leave that in my uh, in in the office. You know, which is the um, yeah. The the you know, the bookstore. Uh, you mm -hmm. just put that in the safety deposit box there, the payment zone. Um, okay. It'll all be I'll good. I'll try and leave like a little note saying that I paid it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll see it. Um, so we should be fine. Uh, but I must tell you, um, if you don't actually pay the payment in time, you'll actually have to have people come around and take your house, and all the terms and conditions will apply. Uh, you got 28 days to do that. Okay. Thank you very much. See you later. Read the T's and C's. Uh, thank you very much. Goodbye. And please ask the bill payer before you pay. And of course, ask the bill payer's permission before you pay. Um, we appreciate you calling, and of course, if you ring after the phone line's closed, your vote won't be counted, but you may still be charged. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but seriously, um, I, I will kill you if you don't pay. <laughs> Just gonna say. Um, but of course, I'll, I'll ask the, uh, the, the neighbour because uh, we've we got a little situation going on with the neighbor um he, what sort of situation he's gone batshit crazy i won't, About... I won't sugarcoat it for you um it, that that happened he he took a kitten and he was gonna fire it out of a cannon and, <laughs> and, and i was just right. not that was not cool so yeah well uh good luck with the plot um I don't. I don't think you'll need uh, any planning permission there. But uh, if you if you do come and see me, uh, I'll sort that for you, and uh, yep. we sh we should all be good. Um, of course, that may oh sh sugared lumps. Um, that may cost a little bit extra. You know, it's services without out of my. Um, it's it's not going to be like a massive house. Money. I just want like a, a little crib. Little crib. Um, actually, I must ask you: the design of the house is it going to fit into the aesthetic of the uh, local neighbourhood? Yeah. Definitely. Oh yeah. Okay. So it's not going to be, be like... as, it's not going to be like as bold as the um, the, the one at spawn. So you you're thinking something like um, a, an African ranch house. Yeah. So lots game of lo wood. a game lodge. A game lodge. Except there's no game. Except there's no game. Well, you've got the the natives nearby. You know, you could you could turn that into a business, man. You know, people come out, they mm -hmm. come stay. It's lucrative. Right. You could be a pioneer with that. 
it's time to mine <laughs> okay well i'm gonna end the episode here guys thank you very much for watching guys please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and uh, i'll keep you up to date with uh, mr williams uh progress with his build of course uh and you want to say bye bye will bye bye peace <laughs>